warm welcome students of this academy now next turn is here describe the question answers of chapter 9 that is poem sing a song of people okay and also rest of parts <clears throat> okay so now you can see here and also note down your answers which modes of transport and what is the poem name sing a song of people okay so which modes of transport do the people used to move around in the city so in the answer in the city people use cars taxis buses trains trams rickshaw etc to move around question number 2 what are the things that the people carry with them while moving around so while moving around people carry bags briefcases suitcases etc so question number 3 where all do you find these very busy people so answer i find all these busy people on road on bus stops in store on bus stops in stores on sidewalk in market place etc next question where have you seen crowds of people i have seen crowd of people at railway stations bus stand fair shopping malls stadium cinema halls etc why do you think all these people are in a hurry so these people are in a hurry because they have to do many things and they have to go long distances you can see here language uh, language is used question number 1 let's write the opposites of the following words so what is the opposite of slow fast back front okay below above loud soft or quiet up down tall short crowd alone go come let's see the question number 1 that is a in let's talk the people who lives in cities often wish they could live in quiet towns do you like the place you live in tell your partner to things you like and don't like about the place you live in so i live is the outskirts of the city i like the place where i like where i live okay there is a big park with green grass and tall trees i go for a walk there many neighbors okay i go for i go for a for i go for for a walk there many neighbors come there okay next is there is a school library hospital and a market we have all the things we need third one there is a local bus stand i can go wherever i like i am quite happy okay i am quite happy where i live however i have to travel a long distance for the main city railway station etc it also lacks in terms of law and order situations you can see the next one did you observe that in the poem the last word in every second of fourth line rhyme with each other can you write a four line poem i live in a tall building like a bird in a nest here i study and here i rest find out how many people are there in our country do we have enough land for all people on this earth is there enough food and water for all people more than 100 crore people live in our country we do not have enough land for all the people on the earth there is not enough food and water for all the people find out the following from 10 families living in your neighborhood so <clears throat> how many members are educated in each family from amongst the 10 families how many are educated now talk to your partner and then write a report about your neighborhood so here is the activity so you have to do it yourself okay so this is an activity do it yourself here also given question and you can also do it like this question number 1 interview your teacher and get her responses for the following questions why did you become a teacher how do you come to school every day do you have any pets what kinds of books do you like to read what are your hobbies 
what are your hobbies so first one why did you become a teacher i become a teacher because i like teaching okay how do you come to school every day i come to school in a rickshaw do you have any pets yes i have a cow and a dog what kinds of books do you like to read so i like to read classic okay next is what are your hobbies my hobbies are my hobbies double b okay i yes are reading books comma traveling and surfing internet you can see the next one now write a paragraph about your teacher with the information you have gathered so my teacher says she became a teacher because okay because she likes teaching she comes to school daily in a rickshaw she has cow and a dog as pets she is a good reader she likes to read classics okay classics her hobbies are reading traveling and surfing the internet you can see this one map and here is a questions use the map to answer the questions what does a dotted line on the map show what road would ajay take to get to the boat club what building is next to the picnic area what road passes by ajay's house what other way could ajay use to get from his house to his grandmother's house now right use verbs like go turn cross use preposition like across between in front of beside near behind and right how you get home from school so in the answer number 1 the dotted line the dotted line on the map shows the route from ajay's house to his school second one ajay would take kasturba gandhi mark to get to the boat club india gate is next to the picnic area ring road passes by ajay's house fifth one ajay could use asoka road to get from his house to his grandmother's house but hi could use uh, but uh, not hi sorry but he could he h e he but he could use kasturba gandhi mark also he could reach the boat club then he could go across the picnic area from there he could turn left and walk between the boat club and his school then he could turn and walk in front of the school and reach his grandmother's house this question number 1 discuss with your partner how you would send a similar message to someone also find out how people send messages in olden days and how they send them nowadays so we can send a similar message in a sealed bottle bottle the bottle will float away in the running stream in olden days people send message through messengers pigeons and by post so these days people send messages by telephone and email see the picture travel time blow answer the question that follow where did you go for an excursion holiday with whom did you go what did you take with you what was the first thing you saw when you reached your destination what did you like best about the place how long did you stay there what did you miss about home so in the first one i went to shimla next one i went there with my friend next one i took my food items medicines clothes camera and and binoculars okay i saw the mall i liked the tall pine trees the best i stayed there for 3 days i missed the comfort of my home let's see the next one make sentences using any two new words which you have learned in the lesson so first one is procession procession that is our school bus had to stop for half an hour because a religious procession was going through the street procession means yes functions okay next one canyons when we went to dehradun i saw several deep canyons on the way means different different things okay when we went to dehradun ठीक है जब हम देहरादून पहुंचे ठीक है सो आई सो सेवरल मैंने क्या देखे डीप कैनियंस देखे ऑन द वे रास्ते में कुछ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थिंग्स देखी दैट इज कैनियंस ओके सो विच विच डू यू थिंक वुड बी मोर फन ट्रैवलिंग बाय एरोप्लेन और सेलिंग ऑन अ शिप सो राइट वाई यू थिंक सो okay why do you think so i think traveling by aeroplane would be more fun it would be uh, it would give me a view of the mountain rivers cities and seas from the above okay from the above 
D. Okay, A article. Fill in the blanks choosing group words from the box. The travels, the travelers rested under the clump of trees. Okay, clump under the clump of trees just means clump means travel rested means thori dirke. Okay, clump of trees. Chai. The choir sang beautifully. That is choir. Okay, the bunch of flowers was lying on the table. Next thing, the girl looked up at the clusters of stars. Clusters means group. The band of the band of robbers escaped means bhagjana. The hunters shot at the flock of birds. Flock means chun. Birds ka jun, that is called flock. Some were described actions, many of them and in LY. The girl danced beautifully. Fill in the blanks by changing the words in the brackets. Suitably, that is soundly. The girl slept soundly. The children finished their work quickly. The old man shouted loudly. The boys played quietly. Do you work neatly? I can do the sum easily. Okay, let's see. Fun time question one. Which country would you like to visit when you grow up? Make a project by drawing or pasting a map of that country, its national flag. So here stamps of the country is currency, some famous monuments or landmarks. So this is a project work. Find out your favorite country and write about. So do you know that there are seven wonders in the world? So can you tell the name of the one which is in India? Find out the write the names of all the seven wonders and the countries they are located in. So wonders of the world, the Taj Mahal, the Great Wall of China, uh, of China. So the Taj Mahal, India, countries India, the Great Wall of China, China, pyramids, Egypt, hanging gardens, uh, hanging gardens, Babylon, okay, mausoleum, Asia Minor, Statue of Sun God. Uh, Raudis, Greece, Statue of Sun God, this one done, Statue of Jesus, that is Olympia, Greece, okay, so this one is completely in your, I have explained in this video, and uh, what you have to do, you have to note down these questions, and also book exercise, do it only in your book, okay, and answers, only note down in your notebook don't write questions all of you and if you have any query regarding this you can send message thoroughly okay